Hello and welcome to this Dropbox Quick Start tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to get started with Dropbox. So I'll teach you how to register for a free Dropbox account, how to install the Dropbox application on both your PC and your iPhone, and a little bit how it integrates with Microsoft Online. Stay tuned. Welcome to this Dropbox tutorial. Now to get started with Dropbox, the first thing you need to do is register for a Dropbox account. Now you can do this completely free of charge. Dropbox offer a Dropbox basic plan, which is free, and it gives you two gig of free disk space. This is more than enough to get you started with Dropbox and for you to understand exactly how it works. Having said that, in my opinion, the Dropbox Basic Plan does lack some of the key security features that I would want to see in a cloud storage product. But to get you going and to get you understanding the product, it's fine to start with. So as you can see on my screen, I'm just on the Dropbox homepage, dropbox.com, and you'll see just a part of the way down the page, there's a sign-up form. So all we need to do is enter our full name, our email address, and a password, and we can create a free Dropbox basic account. Click on agree and sign up for free. Once we've clicked on that, we'll get this page here. Now what Dropbox wants us to do is download the Dropbox application onto your PC. So the way Dropbox works, you have your files in the Dropbox cloud, and then on every device you have, so you might have a laptop, you might have a computer, you might have an iPhone, an iPad, on each of those devices you download and install the Dropbox application. That means wherever you are, you've got access to your files and folders. That's what Dropbox is all about. So the PC I am using now is my Windows 10 PC, so I absolutely want the Dropbox software on there. So I'll click on Download Dropbox, once that's downloaded, I can just click on this icon in my system tray and that should start the application. So the Dropbox application is now installing and we'll give that a few seconds to complete. Once that's installed, you'll see this screen here and it'll say congratulations, the Dropbox application has installed. So the next thing is we'll go ahead and click on open my Dropbox and we'll get to this page here. We will go through this, it's just like a little wizard showing us how to get started. So I'll click on get started. It's going to tell us a little bit about Dropbox, but I can click on Next. I can click on Next again. I can click on Next again, and I can click on Finish. Once we've done that, we'll see that we've got a pop-up saying that this computer is linked to Dropbox. In the system tray down here, we've got the Dropbox icon to show that it's connecting. And the Windows Explorer screen here will open. So this is my PC. I've got my desktop. I've got my documents. But now something's appeared called Dropbox. And whatever I place in here will synchronize with the Dropbox account. So the next thing to do is I'm just gonna minimize this. And I've also got my emails open. So if I just click on there, you'll see that Dropbox have sent me an email asking me to verify my email address. So that's quite important to do. So we'll click on verify email. Now my email address is verified. So I can click on done. Now there's a couple of other little bits we need to do just to get started. So this is the main Dropbox screen and towards the right hand side you can see it says my name and next to my name there's a little down arrow. So if I click on there, now there's my email address and there's a summary of the storage that I'm using. So I've got a 2 gig account and there's already some storage in there which might be the getting started and some of the little bits and pieces. But what I'm going to do is click on settings. Now in this box here, you can change your email address if you want, but what I'm gonna do is just add a photograph of me. So it's personalized. So if I should have a photo on my desktop. So I'm gonna add that. There I go, so I'll click on done. And below that, there's an option to upgrade your account. Now, as I've said previously, I do recommend you upgrade, if you are gonna use Dropbox, permanently for your files, I do recommend that you upgrade. Dropbox Pro has more space, it's got one terabit which is a thousand gig 
compared to two gig with the Dropbox Basic. But it also has some security features that Dropbox Basic doesn't have. And I'll go over them in a, in a future video. Now, just below here, you can change the language and there's some email notifications. So Dropbox does send you quite a few emails. It sends you everything from tips, newsletters, and also details about your account, when you run out of space, and when files are deleted from it. So you can just simply uncheck any of these that you don't want to receive. And over here, you can change the date format. But for now, let's go back to the Dropbox main page, and we can get there just by clicking on the Dropbox logo and that'll take us to here. Now, just to give you a little demo of how Dropbox works. Now, everything that is on this PC in this folder here will synchronize to the Dropbox cloud. And once it's in the Dropbox cloud, it's nice, nice and safe and nice and secure. So just to demo how that works, let's just minimize my internet screen now. And I'm gonna open a Word document. I'm gonna create a Word document Word 2016, we'll create a blank document and I'll just put here, this is a Dropbox test and I'm going to save that in my Dropbox folder. So I'm going to click on browse here and I'm going to scroll to my Dropbox folder. I'm going to call this file just Dropbox test and I'm going to click on save. Okay, so that should now synchronize to Dropbox. If I close out of or minimize Word and go to the Dropbox file, so you can see my Word document there. Now, if I open the internet back up, you can see that the Dropbox test has gone into Dropbox. So it's nice and secure now, and it will be stored and backed up. Now you can also create files and folders, so I can, I can create them locally on this PC by right clicking and creating new folder. And I could call this family documents, just for an example. And I can save that and minimize that. And again, that is synchronized nicely into there. So I can create a nice folder structure. So within the cloud version as well, I can actually just drag documents into folders. So if I just hold down my left mouse key and drag that into there, that will then go into family documents. So you can do that within the cloud or on the PC. So if I open my folder structure here again, you can see that's got a little blue circle. That means it's synchronizing. When it's green, it means it's fully synced with Dropbox, but that's doing something now. So I'll let that whir away. And I can also create folders within Dropbox. So these little icons here, I can click new folder and I can call this finances just for argument's sake, and I can create documents within the Dropbox cloud or on the PC. So if you're out and about and you've not got your computer with you, you can hop onto any computer with an internet connection and you can look at your Dropbox files. Another feature is you can upload documents directly from the Dropbox cloud. So if you're on a PC that doesn't belong to you and you've got to upload something, you can do that just by clicking on here and you can upload and choose the files that you want to upload. So if I upload my photograph from earlier, that will upload. Click on done and there it is. What you can do as well, a great feature of Dropbox is the sharing and it's sharing documents with other people. It might be coworkers, it might be family members. So we've got this option here where we can share a folder. Now we can create a new folder or we can create or we can share an existing folder. So if I want to share my family documents with my family, I can do that. I can click on next and I can just simply add their email addresses into there and then I can choose whether I want them to edit those photos or can just look at them. So this is a great way to share family photographs, for example. If you go on holiday and you've got lots of photos, you can drag them into Dropbox and you can share them with, with people that you want to see them. So that's a nice little option there. So another great feature of Dropbox is how you can edit documents, both when you're at your computer and when you're at someone else's computer. And let me show you what I mean. So if I go into my family documents, we'll see that my Dropbox test Word document that we created earlier is there. So I can go into there. Now in the top right hand corner, you can see it says open. Now if we click on the down arrow here, 
we've got a couple of options. So Dropbox can see that Word, Microsoft Word 2016 is installed on this computer that I'm on. So there's a little computer icon and it asks me if I want to open in Word 2016. If I click on there, it'll open the document. I can amend it and then save it again back to Dropbox. Now, another good option is this one here, Microsoft Word Online. So in theory, you don't need to buy or install Microsoft Office on your computer. You can simply use Dropbox with the Word Online and the Word Online is completely free of charge. If I open in Word Online, you can see that a internet-based Microsoft Word opens up and we can amend documents as we need to and then we can save those documents and return to Dropbox. So you can really amend documents on the fly wherever you are if you've got Office installed or not you can amend your documents and you can also do them on your phone. I'm going to show you that in a couple of seconds. So what you can see here now is my iPhone. So the first thing I want to do is download the Dropbox app. Now to do that I go to the App Store here, here. I then to the bottom of the screen click on this search and in the top bar where it says search I can simply click put in the Dropbox and search for that. The top one here is the Dropbox mobile app so the little cloud here I can just click on there and that will start to install the Dropbox app on my iPhone. So once that's installed, the cloud will turn into the word open. So if I can just click on open. Now you'll see in this screen here. Now the big blue sign will ask us to sign up. Now we don't need to sign up because we've already done that uh, on dropbox.com. So underneath that sign it'll say already have an account, click sign in. So we click on sign in. And then we need to enter our email address and password that we signed up for. Once that's done, you can click on sign in and that will sign into Dropbox. Now this is quite a good feature. So it's, it's asking us if we want to add the photos from our phone camera to Dropbox. So if you don't use a backup at the moment for your photos, this is a great way to do it. You can simply just click on choose photos, click on OK and it'll take you to your camera roll. So you can upload all your photos to Dropbox so they're nice and backed up. I've got my photos backed up so I'm going to click on skip and this takes me to Dropbox so as you can see the same files and folders that were created in the in the previous section are here. What I can also do is edit files on here so if I go into family documents There we can see I've got a Dropbox test Word document. Now if I just tap on there, you see at the bottom we can see Microsoft Word. You can edit your documents. So if I just click on there and then we can install another app onto the phone. And this is Microsoft Word. So we'll click on the, the cloud icon again. So Microsoft Word has now installed because we can see it now says open if we click on that. And then it's saying that Word wants to open Dropbox so we can yes click on open. Click on allow. And as you can see we've now got our this is a Dropbox test document opening on our phone in Word and we can simply amend things in here as we wish. So it's a really lovely tool if you're out and about. Once you've finished you can simply go back here and that'll save your document and we're back into our Dropbox app. So when you're out and about you can now amend documents on your phone. If you've got Excel documents then you'll need to go to the App Store and install the Microsoft Excel app also. So there you have it. Dropbox is a really useful tool if you want to keep your files, folders and photos in a secure cloud location. It also gives you that flexibility to access your data wherever you are on any device. Check out my YouTube channel for more videos on everything related to technology and IT.
I'll see you again soon.